200 plus days. It's that time, and I can't believe it's Nick Folk getting things started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for your 2023 NFL Week 1 game. I like commentary. Did this man just turn the football over? Yes. Yes, he did. The strength of the Black Panther stripped away. How the hell you turn it over on the very first play of the season? Get that man off the field. Meanwhile, in Mile High, it's time for Sean Payton's team to make its debut. Onside kick! Mans must think it's the second half of the Super Bowl. What kind of moxie does Sean Payton have? It appears that it's recovered by the Broncos, and that's how you start a game Denver was participating in the Danny Masterson challenge. Illegal touching. The onside kick would be deemed a first down for Las Vegas. The football got to go 10 yards, and this man was molesting it way too early. To Pittsburgh we go. Kenny Pickett was cooking all preseason long to come out in his season debut and get cooked his damn self. He gets sacked at the 20. From one AFC North to another, here comes Baltimore. We coming for you, nigga. Come here. <laughs> Inc. didn't even draw on Lamar Jackson's new contract. They already took him on the ground. A town down. Here comes Atlanta. I dropped it. Desmond Ritter stripped, but he gets the ball back. It's a sack for Carolina. And now go Chargers, go. To SoFi Stadium we go. Tua turned the ball over, makes his debut of the season, putting it on the ground, recovered by the Chargers. They take over on down. Meanwhile, in Kansas City, the reigning defending undisputed Super Bowl champions are without both future Hall of Fame tight end Travis Kelsey and all pro Chris Jones is this man sitting next to little Carmine now I won't call it a sit down because of the inclement negative implications now for whatever reason certain incidents have expired lately that in addition to being dangerous could have an adverse impact on our respective bottom lines to meth life stadium we go a.a. Ron Rogers making his debut for the Jets <laughs> You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Rogers getting up slowly. Damn, brother got a limp. He's going back down to the ground. In his debut as a New York Jet, Aaron Rodgers has to leave the game for what they thought was an ankle injury. But after further review, he tore his Achilles. Look at the pop. Look just like Kevin Durant in the NBA Finals in 2019. Blame it on the Jets' offensive line. Blame it on artificial turf. One way or another, this is horrible for the 39-year-old Aaron Rodgers because the Achilles tear is the worst injury in sports. Fuck a speedy recovery. I hope for a successful recovery because this could possibly be the last time we see Aaron Rodgers on a football field. Mans was supposed to lead the Jets to the promise land for the first time since 68 with Joe Namath and now his only highlights is running out with the American flag It's a brutal morning for the New York Jets, brutal day for the NFL, and brutal for football fans across the entire nation. If this is indeed the last time we see Aaron Rodgers on the field, you had one hell of a career, and congratulations on the Hall of Fame. Hey, you could have saw this early and ad-free if you became a member on my Patreon, and I'm doing something special this season. I'm doing two additional videos exclusively on Patreon. I'm continuing the Super Bowl series, and I'm picking out one college football game every single week to do commentary on. So make sure you click the link in my description and become a member on my patreon fourth and one for houston and somehow they took a sack patrick queen takes down stroud come on out you rapist deshaun watson takes the snap <laughs> anytime deshaun watson finds himself laying on his glutes it never turns out good for him back to pittsburgh we go 49ers on the move gym leader brock purdy looking over the middle got brandon hi who goes into the end zone touchdown 49ers with the score grab your condoms in mile high here comes porn star jimmy g looking towards his left he's got jacoby myers activating his dreadlock powers touchdown las vegas fourth and two for the kneecap eaters they're gonna take a direct snap and 
and it's a fake. They pick up the first down. Who goes for it on fourth down from their own 17-yard line? Dan Campbell is a madman. Ensuing drive for the Clark Kent City with no superpowers. Pickett looking towards his right. Wahoo! Intercepted by the 49ers. Ward takes the football away. Pittsburgh looking terrible. Hut, hut. <laughs> Oh, I missed. The snap rolled right past Daniel Jones. The Giants would have to settle for a 45-yard Graham Gano field goal. I blocked it. The field goal's blocked by Dallas. Only Graham Gano can make a play. He's blocked into oblivion, and the Cowboys are headed into the end zone. Special teams makes a play. Dallas is on the board in meth life. Oh, shit. Let's go, special team. Let's go. Now we just need our defense to make a play. I'm telling you, we're going to win the game on all three phases. Very next drive for the Giants. Still can't get anything going offensively. Daniel Jones still getting harassed by Micah Parsons. They're going to be forced to punt. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Let's go. God damn, how God lit the fuck up, and it appears that we've got a fracas, a kerfuffle, a skirmish, a brouhaha breaking down in the nation's capital. Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude. It's you too much. Twist that dick! Twist this dick! Come on, dude. Back to Baltimore we go. Lamar Jackson looking left, got a man. Wahoo! But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Houston. The Texans did not come here to play games. Uh uh, Tom Brady back in Gillette Stadium. I can only imagine how hyped this man is to run down the field that he made famous. Thank the Lord he ain't playing no more. Homie terrorized teams for 20 plus years. And the crazy thing is, despite the fact that he actually appears to be fully retired, I would not be surprised if he returns to the NFL next year. Tom, shut the fuck up. Fourth and one in the A, Chubba Pornhub had ran into a no fapping defense. He's denied the first down, participating in the Frank Costanza challenge, cuz. Mm, I stopped short. The new regime beginning for Green Bay. No more A.A. Ron Rodgers. Insert Jordan Dr. Love. He finds his man over the middle. Touchdown. Green Bay takes the lead. What's Derrick Henry doing? Get your bitch ass out the way, nigga. Season just started. Man's already catching bodies. Look how he sent Marcus Mays to the shadow realm. Look at homie hug his soul before he headed into the afterlife. Embarrassed that man's entire lineage. He got stiff arms from the east to the west back to the east back to the west baptize that man in the name of the father son and holy spirit here comes mr sunshine trevor lawrence has the jags at the 10 yard line fleeing towards the left hand side of the field looking towards the end zone he's got calvin bet on games ridley back in the end zone for the score touchdown for the first time in two years out to Star Foxborough we go. Big Mac Daddy Jones looking towards his right pass. Ricochet and intercepted by big play Darius Slay. Makes a couple people miss and he's headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McFixit? The Patriots ain't shit. Big Macs are being eaten in the end zone. 10-0 Eagles. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Josh Allen takes the snap. Help me. Help me! Back to Star Foxborough we go. New look Ezekiel Elliott debuting for the pay by the fingers. Man's cooked no matter where he goes. And now go Chargers, go. A little half and half. The mulatto half-breed Austin Eckler heads into the end zone and he scores for the Chargers and he's just as white as he is black. So hit the music. That's how the white man plays guitar. That's how white man runs a football. To the nation's capital we go. The re I meant commanders rolling towards his left goes Sam Howell. Got his man in the end zone. Touchdown. The commanders take the lead. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death on me. I don't think Atlanta recognized the offensive line is supposed to block because Desmond Ritter already got lit up twice this quarter. 310 left to go in the first quarter. Tyler Bass Pro Shops puts it through the uprights and good. The Bills are on the board. Hot, hot. I dropped it. Too much massage lubricant on Watson's hands. Hands it off to the human erection. But our fingers, it was still on the ball. Recovered by the Bengals in the Battle of Ohio. Later on that same drive, here comes Jared. I look like Ryan Gosling, but I'm no liability golf. Got his man, Amon Rasain 
Brown goes into the end zone for the score. The Lions take the lead first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put the camera back on him. He's stroking Kansas City's defense. Long dick style. I had your dick in my mouth. Fuck me. Philly on the move. Jalen Hurts rolling towards his right. He's got Devontae Smith wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. Philadelphia leads by 16. Devontae Smith just had a new baby, but turns out the Patriots defense must be the afterbirth. Bro, that's nasty. After a Dallas field goal, next Giants possession. Daniel Jones looking left. Give me that pass intercepted by Bland. He's headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Giants getting cooked. In this bitch, touchdown Cowboys, yeah! When I tell you, when I tell you, defense gonna make a play, we up 16, and our offense didn't even need to do nothing. Wait no, a minute, have you ever wanted a shout out from the chiseled Adonis himself? I've done nearly 400 cameos, and I've got over 145 star reviews, so if you ever needed a shout out for your birthday, anniversary, maybe you got a new job, maybe you just wanna send some love to somebody, perhaps you want me to roast you, or somebody else, or maybe even announce the order of your favorite fantasy football league draft one way or another book me on cameo get your shout out today the link is in the description and now no charges no think fast raheem mozart mostert gets the handoff goes into the end zone of the los angeles apple Chargers tie game in sofi stadium time to welcome bryce young to the nfl looking over the middle got a man Yoink. but he plays for the other team pass intercepted by the falcons broncos country Let's rock. Here comes Homer Simpson, Russell Wilson rolling towards his right. Got a man in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Watch out for the big horn sheep. Hand off to Williams. Barrels his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. They take the lead over Seattle. Think fast. To running back university we go. J.K. Dobbins on the toss. Dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. They take the lead over Houston. With Rodgers out, the Jets would have to turn to that motherfucker. Milf Hunter. Zach Wilson. He's going to be sacked. To the second quarter we go welcome to the nfl give me your ankles pussy excuse me scoundrels goes to the end zone bison robinson for his first touchdown of his career look at him sex these hooligans look at him take this boy's soul eat the turf 49 then he told those two bitch ass virgins to hit the weight room touchdown was so nice you gotta see it twice hit that boy with the Kiki. take them boys out the oven they just got cooked Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Welcome to the NFL AR5. Richardson finds the end zone, dials up voicemail, calls his own number. Tie game in Indianapolis. Back to the nation's capital we go. Sam Howell looking towards his left. Give me that. Intercepted by the Arizona Cardinals. Next Kansas City drive. Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes is going to go on the move. Time to use his feet. You know what he says. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Carries it all the way inside the 10. Pewter City Dream leader Brock Purdy still marching down the field looking towards his right guy Brandon Hank who just told Patrick Peterson to hold his nuggets suck his dick Mans was talking shit all week long saying he was gonna intercept Brock Purdy and now he got a touchdown on top of his head Ayuk second touchdown of the day here comes Mr. Sunshine Lawrence takes the snap looking like he threw a grenade to Bigsby <laughs> Yoink. Pass ricocheted and intercepted by Indianapolis. It looked like it blew up in this man's hands. He did not want to catch that football, but he got his ass down the field to go tackle him, though. Third and eight for the Bills from their own 31-yard line. Josh Allen says, fuck it. Stephon Diggs must be down there somewhere. Launches it down the field. Wahoo! Intercepted by Caucasian head. Whitehead gives the ball back to the Jets. Hey, Josh Allen, that's only one interception. No way you throw a pick again, right? Especially to the same guy, right? Very next play, take a look at the Bills safeties. Get your bitch ass out the way, Micah Hyde. Give me your ankles, Jordan Boyer. Brees Hall is loose. He's at the 50, the 40, but he's running out of gas. The Gatorade symbol shows up at his cleats. He's tackled at the 12, 83-yard run. One quick look at those Pittsburgh Steelers fans. They look absolutely defeated. Homie pondering why he spent $300 to be here when he could have been at home beating off for free. We suck. We fucking suck, man. Fuck your car. Oh. Fuck your car. The Kansas City Bloods in the Sioux Whoop Zone. Patrick Kermit to Frog Mahomes on third and goal. No Travis Kelsey, but I find anybody else in the end zone for the score. Touchdown tie game, and it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes. Why? Because it's free real estate.
Out to Minnesota we go. Here come the Purple People Eaters. Kirk family member going down the field. He's got Jordan Addison wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. They take the lead. Hit the music. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, the Cowboys continue to pour it on, connecting on a field goal from 38 yards out to make it a three-possession game. Very next play from scrimmage for the New York Giants. DayJ rolling towards his right, looking down the field pass, intercepted by Stephon Gilmore. The Giants clearly do not want to play football. Because Zach Wilson absolutely sucks, the Jets would have to settle for a 26-yard field goal. They even up the score at three apiece. Tennessee doing nothing with the football. I block it. The punt is blocked in tribute to Steve Gleason, who's in the building. It's going to go out of bounds. The Saints get the football right back in better field positioning. Back to the Windy City we go. Here comes Justin Fields rolling towards his right. Yeah! Heavens to Betsy, the Falcon is killing himself down in ATL. This bird is vlogging its suicide attempt for the entertainment of the crowd. Back to Seattle we go. Geno Smith takes the snap, looking towards his left. He's got DK Donkey Kong Metcalf in the end zone. Touchdown. Seattle's in front. And now go Chargers, go. The Los Angeles Android Chargers drive inside the period colored zone. Justin Herbert from Family Guy looking over the middle. Got his man in the end zone. Touchdown. Back to the nation's capital we go. What do they eat in Washington? Butterfingers. Fumble on the play. Scooped up by the Cardinals. After the interception, toss to Tony Tony Chopper Pollard. He's going to find the end zone. And Dallas leads 26 to 0. Yeah. What I tell you. What I tell you. We going to score on all aspects of the game. Offensive. Defense and special teams. And if you give me the honor, I'll tell you right now that the necrophilia talent has begun in MetLife because the Cowboys have pulled down the draws of the Giants and they may be dead, but somehow they're still getting fucked. Long dick style. Long dick style. With a boy. What is your name? Mr. Unlimited Diarrhea. Unlimited. Let's check in on Tennessee in a battle of field goals. Yoink. Intercepted by Marshawn Lattimore. Takes the football away from Tennessee. Somewhere Mike Evans watching that highlight hating. Next Detroit possession. The Lions are on the move. Welcome back to Detroit, Marvin Jones. What was your first meal? Be -be -be Butterfingers. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Chiefs. They take it away in the red zone. Just look at the lack of protection. Dropping his ball straight out his underwear. Get him a pair of Manscaped. And now a word from our sponsor. Wait a minute, summer's coming to a close. The fall is on the horizon and the Manscaped Handyman Facial Shaver has arrived. Now, you know I'm all about finding the best products to make our grooming routines easier and more effective. And let me tell you, the handyman does exactly that. Say goodbye to patchy beards and hello to a clean, well-groomed appearance. The handyman delivers a quick, close shave with a unique dual blade system. And of course, it features skin-safe technology and it's waterproof. And I know what you're thinking, but what about the battery life? The handyman can run for 60 minutes on a single charge. And just look how compact the handyman is. I kept this in my suitcase when I I went to Europe. I kept it in my suitcase when I went to Canada. I travel everywhere with my handyman now. Keep myself groomed and clean. That means you'll have more than enough time for multiple shaves without worrying about running out of power. And when it comes to performance, the handyman is a beast when it comes to tackling up to three day growth. So what could you possibly be waiting for? Click the link in my description right now and upgrade your grooming routine. Go to manscaped.com slash chiseled and get 20% off your order of the handyman right now plus free international shipping only at manscaped.com. Your face will thank you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Welcome back to Atlanta. Bryce Young looking towards his right. He's got Hayden Hurst. Goes into the end zone against his former team. Touchdown tie game. Here comes Mr. Sunshine. The stone face assassin on the move. Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence looking towards the end zone. Zay Jones with a spectacular one-hand effort. Touchdown Jacksonville. Look at the catch. Only needed one hand. Sexing them boys out there. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. The inferior Josh Allen. Allen takes the snap, rolling towards his right, looking towards the end zone. He's got Diglett. Use TM28 digs. <laughs> Touchdown, Bills. They regain the lead. Trailing by two scores, but Big Mac Jones finds Hunter Henry in the end zone. Touchdown, New England's finally on the board. And Brady approved. Let me play one more year. Eh, high five. 
ensuing drive for Indianapolis looking to respond, but evidently they still got COVID because they are uh, 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 coughing up the ball. Fumble on the play, scooped up by the Jags. Ensuing drive for that motherfucker, Milf Hunter, Zach Wilson, looking over the middle. Yoink! Intercepted by Matt Milano. The Jets are going to have a very long season without Aaron Rodgers. Homie threw it straight to the defense, and he talking shit to him. I suck. Hey, Jets fans, how you guys feeling? Fuck you, dude! Three minutes left to go in the first half for the Lions. Yeah, come here. Ah! 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 Back to meth life. Let's check on that Giants O line. Kill me! Oh my God! Son of a bitch! 57 yard field goal for the Rams. I blocked it. Get the fuck out of here! Seattle denies the Rams three points, and they're gonna take over on downs at the 42 yard line. And now no charges. No. Miami drives down the field once more. To a tongue on an areola, looking towards the end zone. Got his man touchdown. Miami takes the lead again. No more break. But they got Tampa Bay pastry chef Baker Mayfield going deep down the field. He's got Mr. Thousand Yards Mike Evans in the end zone. Touchdown. Tie game in Minnesota. Another field goal attempt for the Giants. At least they can trust in Gano. I guess not. Man's donating footballs to the Boys and Girls Club in Section 16. New York can't do nothing right. Kansas City gets the ball back just before they head into halftime. Mahomes going deep down the field. He's got Marquez, Valdez, Scantling on a spectacular catch over the middle of the field to move the chains inside Lions territory. Here comes the nation capital. Sam Howell under duress. Butterfingers fumbles on a play scooped up by Arizona into the end zone. The Cardinals defense gives them the lead. The hell was the commander's offensive line doing? Dudes look like underpaid security they ain't protect Sam Howell at all welcome to New Orleans Derek vehicle Wahoo. pass intercepted by Tennessee somebody tell the Saints to check their mail there might be a total recall on this vehicle the Kansas City bloods in the Sioux Whoop zone once again Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes sidearms towards his right got his man in the end zone touchdown for Kansas City again and it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes because just in case you forgot it's free real estate. 30 seconds left to go in the half. Mac Jones looking towards the end zone. He's got Evan Airborne in the end zone for the score. Patriots right back in it. Welcome to the barbecue. Kirk family member looking over the middle. Yoink. Pass intercepted and stolen by the Bucks. <laughs> Come on out, you rapist! Snap to the massage parlor bandit. Deshaun Watson's gonna dial up voicemail, call his own number, take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland! They lead by two scores! How interesting his choice of celebration would be the air guitar. I hear you need good finger work in order to play that instrument. Legend has it, while he was in a massage parlor, his hands really went to work. Allegedly! Allegedly! That's ignorant! Buffalo would cash in their interception for points. 34-yard field goal from Tyler Brass Pro Shops. They lead by 10. Back to South Park we go. Here comes Homer Simpson. Russell Wilson rolling towards his right. He's got his man in the end zone. Touchdown. Denver's in front in this AFC West battle. Back to Pittsburgh where they're trying to prevent the necrophilia. Kenny Pickett finds Pat Fryermuth who goes into the end zone for the score. The Steelers are finally on the board. Took nearly 30 minutes for these motherfuckers that produce more than one yard. Final play of the half, a 71-yard field. Boy, this is like a 41-yard field. Where did it get 70 from? Who's working on the graphic team? The Miami Dolphins take the lead by three. But fire that person expeditiously. We were just chopping some burgers at halftime saying this game feels like it should be 28-3 to in favor of Minnesota. Why is it still 10-10? Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they they would never understand. To the second half, we go handoff to run CMC. Blue eyes, right privilege, spin move, gets outside. Huge block from Brandon Hank. One man to beat, gets inside. Convoy of bodies out in front. Patrick Peterson eat grass, but a touchdown, 49ers. White man to the end zone. White power, white power, white power. That's how white man runs a football, you bitch. Back to New Orleans we go. Play action fake. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up to Tannehill, and they got a deflected interception pass picked off by New Orleans at the five-yard line. That's two interceptions now, Tannehill. No way you throw another one, right? 
what the hell's going on with the graphic team this week? Why the line of scrimmage moving when the running back move? Imagine if you was under the influence watching this game. Ain't no way you're not going paranoid right now. To Lucas Oil Stadium we go. AR5 looking towards his left. He's got Michael on Pittman, and he's got all kinds of deodorant. Goes into the end zone for the score on a catch and run. Tie game in Indianapolis. Here comes the boy. Dick takes the snap. He's going to dump it off to Tony Tony Chopper Pallet, and you know you're having a bad day when you cause butterfingers and you still can't recover it. Casey on the move, short field. Mahomes looking towards his right. Yoink. Intercepted by Brian Branch, and he's headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Not your same lines in this bitch. 50 yard interception return for a touchdown. The first pick Mahomes has thrown on opening night of his entire career, and it's not even his fault because bum ass Cardarius Tony got no hands whatsoever. Ball slipped betwixt this man's hands like police investigations of EDP 445. Imagine making plays that secured a Super Bowl ring mere months ago, only to come out on opening night looking like you transmogrified into Dante Moncrief. What happened to his hands? But hey, Chiefs fans, nothing to worry about. Cardarius Tony's made mistakes before. No way he drops another pass, right? My my son looked like he graduated from the Xavier Academy, son. He has to be a mutant, bro. Holy God, what are you this showing me? Hey, come on. Well, this is going to feel weird. Jordan Love hands it off to A.A. Ron Rogers, who goes into the end zone for A.A. Touchdown. It just doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. Touchdown, Packers. They extend their lead. I'm glad he still got that chain for his father's ashes. Very next play from scrimmage. Watch out, Justin. <laughs> Despite fumbling early on the drive, that wouldn't stop Tony Tony Chopper Pala from walking into the end zone. Dallas leads by five scores. The necrophilia continues. How does that feel, Dave? We're fucking you long, Dick Stell. Long, Dick Stell. Because we got Dick. We got Pala. D.D. Lamb. We that boot. Nobody's gonna stop us. We're gonna keep dominating you. Back to who the hell uses M&T Bank Stadium. Hand off to Hill. Goes into the end zone for the score. Baltimore extends their lead to two scores. Second and nine for the massage parlor bandit. Play action fake. Got all kinds of time in the pocket. Flees towards his left. But for whatever reason, he decides to donate the football to the Cincinnati Bengals. Intercepted. And it's going to be returned to midfield. What the fuck was he throwing at? And now go Chargers. Go. Justin Herbert from Family Guy. QB sneak goes into the the end zone for the score. Charges are back in front. 43 yard field goal for Legatron. Greg Zerline boots it through the uprights and it's good. One possession game in New York. The Rams run SOS. Same old shit. Hand off to Williams. Barrels his way into the end zone. His second TD of the day. And the Rams are back in front in Seattle. Pewter City gym leader Brock Purdy has a new challenge. A TJ Watt with his second sack of the day. This is literally the only thing that's going for Pittsburgh right now. Bryce Young still getting welcome to the NFL. Third and six given out. Donations pass intercepted by the Falcons. It's going to be taken inside Carolina territory. Second and a Reception of the day. Fourth and three for Jordan. Dr. Love looking over the middle. He's got A.A. Ron Jones outrunning the Chicago Bears all the way into the end zone. Touchdown Green Bay. Despite the fact that the self-proclaimed owner of the Chicago Bears headed to New York, the deed still says Aaron as the first name. Hey, you ever want to updates on all things Chiseled Adonis? Perhaps info on new merch, info on exclusive content dropping, maybe even joining sweepstakes so you can participate in giveaways. Make sure you subscribe to my brand Brand new newsletter where I'm providing value two to three times per week. The link is in the description and also in the top pinned comment. Third and 12 for New York. Anybody want to check on Daniel Jones? He is not okay right now. They sacked this man seven times. To Minnesota we go. The Tampa Bay pastry chef looking over the middle. Baker Mayfield let him cook. Got his man in the end zone. Tampa Bay is back in front. Back to Pittsburgh we go where the Steelers continue to get cooked, but T.J. Watt eaten. He strip sacks Brock Purdy, takes the football away. Literally the only person playing for Pittsburgh today. Does it help them come back and win though? Absolutely not. 
Baltimore in the period colored zone. Hand off to Hill once more. Goes into the end zone. His second touchdown on the day. Houston no longer knows how to play football. Then again, they haven't done that for years. Justice! Chicago getting cooked, but Justin Fields looking to put a stop to that third and three. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Fields ejaculates the football right into the hands of the Packers. And now go Chargers, go. To a tongue on an areola, turned the ball over third and 12, launches it towards the end zone intercepted by jc jackson but this dumbass motherfucker took it out of the end zone when he could have just took a knee and took it to the 20. why would you run into the four yard line you dumbass motherfucker but nevertheless it is a takeaway for the charges the bills in jets territory josh allen takes the snap continue to showcase why he's inferior launches it down the field intercepted by caucasian head again that's two picks to the same guy what are the chances that josh allen throws another pick ryan Tannehill already Ready with two interceptions today. Why not make it three? He continues to give out donations. Donations. Tannehill! What the hell you doing out there? You got three picks and it's the opening game out there doing giveaways like your name was Mr. Beast. Get your bum ass off the field and put your motherfucking head back down. And now no charges, no. Oh no, there's no police here to help me. Justin Herbert from Family Guy damn near takes a safety. They gave that man no protection. The interception turned into nothing. Here comes Mr. Sunshine. Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence takes the snap, looking to go down the... The Jags thought this was an incomplete pass, but they don't know football. Indianapolis scoops the ball up, runs into the end zone. Touchdown, Colts. They take the lead on an improbable defensive play. The Giants got cooked so bad, Cardarius Tony was talking trash on Instagram. But I know that ain't who I think it is. Following the pick six, here comes Kansas City. Drives all the way down to... I dropped it. Ain't no way. This man dropped the football two times in one quarter. McCole Hardman gone. Eric Bieniemy gone. Gone. Travis Kelsey injured. Somebody needs to step up. But Cardarius Tony's hands are just for decoration. What happened to his hands? Meanwhile, in Kansas City, I know it's the opening night of the year, but what the fuck the refs doing? Jawan Taylor out here looking like he got Parkinson's on the line. Buddy jiggling at the line of scrimmage. Is this not a false start? Why the officials swallowing they whistle? Might I add, look at Buddy's split, the length of Shaq's toenail between him and the guard. How you breaking two rules? before the snap even happens and somehow you keep getting away with it. Who you know plays offensive tackle in a sprinter stance? This is the NFL, not track and field, stupid! This fat son of a bitch! He's fat! And now, no charges, no. Think fast, Tua Tonga to Areola looking to go down the field. He's got the cheetah, Tariq Hill, who is absolutely torching the Chargers secondary into the end zone. Touchdown. Miami's back in front. They can't guard that man. The NFL's best YouTuber strikes again. Kansas City would regain the lead on a 35-yard field goal from Harrison Butker. Who needs contraception? Porn star Jimmy G has the Raiders inside the Tokokino zone. Rosetta Stone, Greek motherfucker. Porn star Jimmy G looking over the middle. Can't seem to find nobody open. Extends the play. Oh, shit! Yoink. Ricochet. And intercepted. Back to Nolans we go. Derek Vehicle looking towards the end zone. Got his man wide open. Touchdown, Saints. They take the lead in the bayou. Back to Soldier Field. Justin Fields doing absolutely nothing, but he's able to find a man in the end zone. <laughs> Darnell Mooney in the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. They cut their deficit down to two scores. Hot, hot. I dropped it. Oh. It's on wall, ain't it? Oh. It's on wall. Hey! It's on wall. Well, not anymore, stupid. Alopecia Poppy. Josh Dobbs takes the snap. Absolutely no protection. Harassed from behind. Stripped and fumbles on the play. Taken away by Washington. Fourth and eight. The Giants desperately trying to do something. Daniel Jones rolling towards his right pass. Broken up. Turnover on down. Meanwhile in Seattle. What's wrong with DK Metcalf? Free workout and painting nails got him going crazy almighty push getting stretched out on this hot evening <laughs> To the fourth quarter we go in Meth Life Stadium. That motherfucker, Milf Hunter, Zach Wilson doing nothing 
with the football, takes another sack. Back to A-Town, handoff to Tyler Algier. He might just lose his job by the end of the year, but he's still piling his way into the end zone for the score. And now go Chargers, go. The Android Chargers in the period colored zone again. Justin Herbert from Family Guy hands it off. Kelly finds the end zone for the score. Chargers are back in front. The Purple People Eaters trying to get back in this game. Kirk family member looking towards his right. He's got Alexander the Great Madison goes into the end zone for the score. The Vikings even it up at 17 all. Pack is in striking distance once again. Jordan Love has them inside the five. He's looking towards his left. Got his man. Tells the Chicago Bears to hold his nuggets. Suck his dick. Dubes has his second TD on the day. The Bears continue to be Green Bay's sons. Ensuing drive for the Bears. Justin Fields still desperately trying to get something going. Pass intercepted by Quay Walker. He's running straight into Chicago Bears, but they don't know how to tackle. Their offense don't know how to play defense, and he's headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Bears ain't shit. Touchdown Packers. The Bears are who we thought they were, but they are who we thought they were. Stinking, steaming, stinking pile of great A monkey crap. The Chiefs starting to pull away. Butka connects on a 39-yard field goal. The Super Bowl champs lead by six. Back to the nation's capital we go. Sam Howell takes the snap, dials up voicemail, calls his own number. Going to take it into the end zone for the score. Washington's in front again over Arizona in the nation's capital. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Toss over to Turpin. The little man fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. They cooking the Giants 40 to zero. This is not even necrophilia. This is straight up murder. Look at this man. He bought a ticket to attend this game just to sniff his finger and get no points from his team. He probably thinking to himself, at least the Giants could have took him out to dinner because he likes to be wine and dine before he gets fucked. Meanwhile, back in the A, Bryce Young takes the snap. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. He sacked. Why is Daniel Jones still in this game? They think they about to get some sort of miracle? He's got hot butter fingers. Trevon Diggs forced to fumble, recovered by the Cowboys. The Giants can't do nothing right today. And the brothers Diggs been making plays in prime time. <laughs> Detroit's offense ain't done shit since the first quarter. Here comes Jared Goff looking towards his left. Got Josh Reynolds for the first down. Homie was a split second away from not only getting tattooed, but possibly turning the football over. Joe, that ain't good enough. Come on, Joe! Burroughs got fourth and four, got nowhere to go. This is easily the worst performance of his entire career. Cincinnati getting cooked. Back to Pittsburgh we go. Kenny putting the pick in picket, looking over the middle pass, ricochet and intercepted by Hufanga. The Steelers get absolutely destroyed at home. Mike Tomlin's worst loss since taking over for Bill Cowher in 2007. It's pain to be a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Upset victories, where? Super Bowl hopes, non-existent, nothing but lip service, broken promises, and absolute pain. If we ever cross paths in real life and we took a photo together, make sure you shoot an email to contact at chiseledadonis.com. I'm compiling all the photos of all of my supporters throughout from 2016 up until now that has taken a photo with me so I can put you guys on the backdrop of the merch website. So make sure you send a photo of us together to contact at chiseledadonis.com. I look forward to seeing you. Back to the Pacific Northwest we go. Cam Akers gets the toss, goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. They lead by two scores over the Seahawks. Think fast. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Inferior Josh Allen throws a third interception to Whitehead. That's three picks on the day to the same man. Perhaps Josh Allen might be a closeted homosexual because he keeps giving the balls to the same dude. Put your motherfucking head back down. What the hell are you doing? Donations. Donations. Cleveland gonna take the dead Namekian to the funeral home and put the nail in the coffin. In the Battle of Ohio, the Browns stand tall again. They've defeated the Bengals like six of their last eight. Jamar Chase called the Browns elves. Well, those elves just whipped your ass. You've been hit by a 
smooth. Here come the Decepticons with no leader because he's in the Hall of Fame. Hand off to David Montgomery Burns. Barrels his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. They take the lead in Kansas City. I cannot believe it. Porn star Jimmy G, raw dog in the Broncos secondary, finds Jacoby Myers for the second touchdown. Philadelphia's offense not producing much, but the special teams puts yet another field goal on the board. They lead 25-14. to 14. 57-yard field goal for the Buccaneers through the the uprights and it's good tampa is in front in minnesota think fast is that kyrie irving of the football field look at jameer gibbs give me your ankles plus eight got kansas city looking stupid ar5 looking to lead a comeback looking towards his right got a man Wahoo. but he plays for the other team pass intercepted by the jaguars that motherfucker milf hunter zach wilson has his team in the red zone and garrett wilson with a magnificent catch on tredavious white Sex that man told them to hold his nuggets. Suck his dick. Tie game, 13 all. Look at this man, embarrassing a pro bowler. White out there looking stupid. Wilson tipped it to himself and caught it on the floor. Film study's about to be embarrassing. Very next play. <laughs> Allen fumbles and then fumbles again. It's scooped up by the Jets. The Bills can't do nothing right. Four turnovers. All due to Josh Allen. They get the ball back at the 26. Meanwhile, back in the battle of the AFC South, hand off to Trevis Etienne. He's going to make a couple of Colts miss, and our Eastern resident Haitian puts it into the end zone for the score. Hit the music. <laughs> put the Giants out of their misery. Daniel Jones still on the field. Fourth and 14 pass sales incomplete. Get those bums off the field. Who gets punched 40 to 0 on opening night on your own turf? Brian Dayball still looks like a cue ball straight out of Pokemon. His squad got fucked sideways. No Vaseline. Vigorously up the poop shoot. Rumor has it Eli Manning might have to surrender his Super Bowl rings due to association with this team. Saquon Barkley came back to the Meadowlands for this. Had the Cowboys out there looking like they were the class of the NFC. Because we are, let's go! We the boot, we got deck, Tony Tony Capapala, D.D. Lamb, Van Der Esch, Tank Lawrence, Micah Parsons, Trevon Diggs, Skip Bayless, Tony Romo on commentary, Troy Aikman on commentary, Michael Irvin as the analyst, we the boot, we went 1-0, oh. we're going to go 17-0, oh. then go 20-0, and, oh, and win the Super Bowl. Nobody going to stop us now. We're going to win thick ring, thick ring, thick ring, thick ring, thick ring, thick ring. We the boys. But how about them Cowboys? Yeah. Hey, look, guys. The Bears scored a touchdown again. Wow. Did that help them come back and win, though? Absolutely not. Get your bum asses out the Windy City. Go to your crib. They knew the game was over. They didn't even put the man's name on the animation. It's over. You lose. Yet another fourth and two for the Lions inside Kansas City territory. Batted down because Dan Campbell still wants to showcase he's got balls, but it backfires. Ensuing drive. Kansas City has momentum. All three timeouts down the field. I dropped it. He did it again. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. This the third time in the second half alone when the Chiefs absolutely need a big play. Cardarius Tony's hands continue to be just for decoration. He couldn't catch a predator if he shapeshifted into Chris Hansen. He couldn't squeeze a ball even if he was a urologist. No wonder homie gloves was yellow because it's sponsored by Butterfingers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Detroit Lions player of the game. Man's got cooked so bad on the app formerly known as Twitter. He deleted his account. I know that ain't who I think it is. It's Cardarius Tony hiding his hands after the game, despite the fact that they're broken from his inability of catching the football. Buddy's fingers work to talk trash to Giants fans after they excoriated him for his terrible performance. But don't got hands to catch football? Get your dumb ass into the trash gang where you belong. Your postseason performance was nothing but a fluke. You are exactly what we all knew you to be. Roll your dumb ass back to the locker room because your absolutely trash and forever you'll be asking yourself what happened to my hands
I can't believe it, man. He sucks. What the hell's going on in Kansas City? It's fourth and 20, trailing by one against the Detroit Lions on the opening night. Game on the line, but there's laundry on the field. Foul, foul. Finally, they got that fat son of a bitch on false start charges. Mans was twitching all game long, and they finally called it. But why is Andy Reid going for it on fourth and 20 when they have three timeouts? Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo, woo. It's fourth and 25, and for whatever reason, the Kansas City Chiefs are going for it. Mahomes rolling towards his left, flings it towards his right, and the pass sails incomplete. The Lions are going to win. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Was that real or a hot dog dream? That's got to be the dumbest decision we'll see Kansas City do all season. Why would you not punt the football? You could have pinned the Lions inside the 20-yard line and have at least one second remaining before the two-minute warnings. With three timeouts to boot, you would force the Lions to have to get multiple first downs in order to win this game. But instead, you go for it from your own 30-yard line? The Lions off put together one drive since the first quarter but for whatever reason you thought the smart decision was to go for it here Mahomes is literally on the field with skilled players that are created characters their jerseys aren't even for sale but you believed he would have picked up a first down coach what the fuck you doing stupid put your motherfucking head back down it wasn't my Fall. Shut your bitch ass the fuck up! They would have been in this predicament if it wasn't for your bum ass not being able to catch footballs. Who would have thought the Lions have fans that will go on the road one way or another. They have walked into arrowhead challenges and walked out victorious. And for those who thought the Chiefs were gonna win. That's my dad! That's wrong! That's wrong! That's wrong! That's wrong! That's wrong! That's wrong! That's wrong. There is this is not just foolish television nonsense. This is I truly believe this and I will prove it to you, bro. Tatted on my arm as of this week. Never a doubt. If they lose to the Lions, this is never well, you'll be how like, could they? One week later. And so while yes, it is unfortunate for me and my professional career that I have the worst prediction ever on my resume. If 20 and 0 were still Technically possible, I think I'd believe in it. I think I would. I don't know that. 19 and 1. 19 and 1. 19 and 1. 19 and 1. Let me see if that can get tattooed on my arm. Stupid fucking dummy. Stupid ass niggas. Football is back. That means underdog fantasy is back and better than ever. They're running their same promotion, but this time from the beginning of the season, where they will match your first time deposit up to $100. So you put in 20, they'll give you 20. Put in 50, they'll give you 50. Put in 100, they will give you 100 and double your initial deposit. Last year, you saw it from my live streams. From November up until the Super Bowl, I won $4,172. It can't get any better than that. So make sure you click the link in my description and download the underdog fantasy app. Use promo code Adonis and it will match your deposit up to $100. May you win all of your bets and let Underdog fund your Christmas. Third and six, the Tennessee Titans need to stop, but Derek Vehicle does not have a break. Finds Saheed down the sideline in Titans territory, and this game is over. Victory in Derek Carr's debut in New Orleans. Meanwhile, in New York, they take advantage of the fumble and take the lead 16-13 with under two minutes left to play. And now, no charges, no. Think fast, Tua Tonga Areola finds Tariq Hill again in the end zone for the score. This man has burnt the Chargers secondary over 200 yards. Nobody can guard him. Miami's back in front. Man's five foot nothing, but his game got him looking like he's six five. His last name now stands for Hill. He's inserting long links into your defense's gluteal claps. My butthole can't take that abuse. Let's check on Alopecia Poppy. What's Josh Dobbs doing? <laughs> He's taken down for the sack when they need him to move the chain. And now no charges, no. Justin Herbert in the exact same situation. <laughs> Fourth and ten, game on the line for the Cardinals. Dobbs pass sales incomplete. Game is over. The Commanders win. Hey, I couldn't help but overhear. 
I represent the Arizona Cardinals. Keep walking. You lose. And now, no charges. No. Game on the line for the Chargers. Even the television networks knew it was over. They went to the blue screen before Herbert got sacked again. Miami wins. Fuck. Back to Star Foxborough. The Lolly Lule Low have the game on the line. Need a completion. Mac Daddy Jones finds Kayshawn Booty for the first game. Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert, woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert, woo, woo, woo. Don't get me wrong, I know Mains is a rookie, but you've been watching NFL football your entire life. It's the ten toes down challenge, not the five toes down challenge. You got out of college, stupid. Why would you not drag your left foot when you had all of the capabilities and facilities to do so? All Mains had to do was put his goddamn foot down, and the Patriots would have still had a chance. But not today, because K. Sean's booty's decision making just so happens to be just like his last name. Nothing but booty. Patriots lose. Game on the line for Buffalo. Need to make a 50 yard field goal to tie. <laughs> he doinked it in. He doinked it in. We're going to overtime. The Bills win the toss. Third and 12 for Josh Allen. Throws the ball incomplete. The Jets are going to get it back. This game's sudden death. Next score wins. There's the punt. Xavier Gibson having to field it at the 35-yard line. Heads towards his right. Nobody in the Bills are in an alignment. Here he goes down the sideline. Huge block on another nincompoop. The punter doesn't even try. 65 yards into the end zone. Touch! Touchdown Jets! They win in overtime! The Bills fell victim to what they did all afternoon long. Undisciplined football. Everybody overshot their gaps. And it was nothing but green turf in front of Gibson. He had two men to beat. Got an incidental tripping huge block from 55. And look at the punter. Game on the line. This man tried to double fist punch Gibson in an effort to stop a game winning touchdown. I want that man hung from from the gallows by his toenails. What kind of effort is this? Somebody get Pat McAfee on the phone. This does not look good for the brand. And Xavier Gibson, the man who got his job on television on Hard Knocks, is the savior for the New York Jets, despite the fact they got the W in week one. What was the cause? As they would tell the Bills to join the Giants, Bears, Chargers, Seahawks, Patriots, Broncos, Titans, Steelers, Colts, Cardinals, Panthers, Vikings, Texans, Bengals, and Chiefs in taking out their Metro cars. And getting aboard the A. You lose! You lose! Failure! Get the fuck out of here! What's the dinner? Fresh hot ales! Fresh hot ales! Fresh hot ales! <laughs> Tell me you watched the entire video, but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.